So you might have seen um, a couple of videos that I had with how to reseal the storage compartment and stuff on an RV. So I had a little bit of an issue with the uh, storage compartment in my RV. I was getting some water in there and man, it was a pain to figure out where the heck the leak was coming from. I tried a whole bunch of different things and um, I'll walk you through a couple of things that I tried and uh, what works for me as far as keeping the water out of the storage compartment. So right down here is where I was getting um the water and this little piece of molding here was sopping it up like a sponge it was aggravating the heck out of me um, because the rest of the floor in here was dry and i was trying to nip it in the bud before it became a big big problem um so i knew my water issue was more than likely coming up high from somewhere high so what i did was i recocked the whole header um, trim piece right here because it was um, peeling away from the camper a little bit uh, this camper is about six years old right now but he tried to keep it in good shape um, this is a common leak area on campus in general so if you're caulking right here is uh, what is curling and um, it's just pieces missing out of it you're gonna want to reseal that on both sides so I redid the side as well uh, another thing they did, I have a video on how to reseal um, the storage compartment lip. So I resealed this next. And, um, you know, if this caulking is bad, that should be done too. That's another area that water can get into and cause a leak issue inside the storage compartment of your RV. So that still didn't solve my problem. So I noticed that I came up to the campground and it was really hot for two weeks. This whole compartment was absolutely dry, no water whatsoever. So I turned the air conditioner on. My air conditioner, you see, leaks water down the side here. And right over the cover of the storage compartment. And I let it run for a couple hours. And I noticed there was like a ton of water starting to get spongy in here. So what I did was, when it was dark out, I took the um, flashlight of my cell phone. And I inspected the old weather strip seal right here. And I noticed at the top that the water was actually dripping between this metal flange right there and the old gasket. So it was coming between the gasket, which you don't want to have happen. It was dripping down inside. So what I did was I have a half an inch lip at the bottom right here. And there was an automotive type seal on here uh, from the Heartland factory. So this seal I bought at O'Reilly's in the auto body section. It's a half an inch and it has a 3M backing on it so it's self-sticking, it's adhesive. So I took the old door seal off and it it's gonna leave some adhesive behind, cleaned up the adhesive, you know, with the razor blade and some mineral spritz. You don't wanna gouge the paint, but just be gingerly with it. I cleaned all that up, put the new gasket on and um, everything's nice and dry inside. I've been running the AC for a few days now and the water is like puddling up down here and dripping down the outside of the trailer as it should be and uh, it's no longer going inside and finding its way. So that's another couple of things you can try out if you have a leak inside your storage compartment. The, the door seal worked for me. Um, that fixed my leaking issue inside that compartment. These leakage issues can be a huge pain in the sense that you're not always at your RV typically. So by the time you get to troubleshoot it again, you know, weeks can go by and uh, it's more time for a lot of the clients damage. So I hope this video helps you guys out. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment. I will reply back to you and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.